Hello study buddies welcome and welcome back to GrowMed. So this is the most awaited video and the video which most of you had requested me to do to continue with that is the buzzword series and this is the another video on the buzzwords and in this video we will mainly discuss on the buzzwords and the clinical cases asked in the ops and the uh, gynec because it comprises a lot of uh, marks right obj and uh, mostly these questions are asked clinical cases is a must from the obj okay? and the frequently asked questions so we will discuss them now so that agar clinical case aya bhi to you'll be easily uh, able to recognize it so the first case in the case there will be described features like 16 year old girl it will differ 16 to 17 year old girl and they will be having primary amenorrhea so the complaint is the primary amenorrhea and on examination you will be seeing that the axillary and the pubic hair are present but on the UEST finding you will see absent uterus so what will be the diagnosis so this is the classical finding seen or the classical case of the Mullerian agenesis also called as the MRKH syndrome so Mullerian agenesis okay whenever you see this absent uterus now sometimes you can also describe absent fallopian tube or absent vagina or cervix all these things are related with this millerian agenesis okay so these are the classical findings which are seen and these are the hint words which you must look in the question then moving on to the next important question that a 17 year old female with primary amenorrhea again the same complaint but this time the pubic and the axillary hair are present see in this also they are present in this also they are present but the differentiating factor and the main feature of this disease will be the bluish bulging hymen so whenever this hint word or the buzzword is given in the question so look at this bluish bulging hymen or they can also describe it bluish bulging uh, on the vaginal examination okay so it is the imperforate hymen and also questions are asked on this management so this was a pyq and management is the cruciate incision on the hymen okay so these are the important things bulging bluish bulging hymen then moving on another female 16 year old again 16 year old with primary amenorrhea see you can see here that how many uh, primary amenorrhea ke cases say one two three but all the three are different uh, so if absent uterus go with mullerianogenesis bluish bulging hymen go with imperforate hymen and if described features like short stature webbed neck wide placed lip nipple then streak ovaries and normal iq the normal iq to usually they're not described in this gynecology cases cases they can ask this in uh, integration with the medicine or in integration with the pathology okay so that one will be the turner syndrome so the chromosomal abnormality associated with this turner will be the 45 xo which is the monosome okay and the reason for this primary amenorrhea in this female is due to the streak ovaries so the ovaries are not working properly they will not be producing estrogen so estrogen uh, will not be produced then the proliferation of the endometrium will not be happening due to which there will be primary amenorrhea okay so these are the three important primary amenorrhea cases then moving on to the another very important and frequently asked so this is a repeat topic and a pregnant female 34 years comes with pain vaginal bleeding and fetal parts are palpable see you need to look at the three hint words given in the question so whenever this kind of question is asked first you need to look at the uterus tender hair painful hair look at the uterus tender painful then look at the bleeding so the bleeding whether it is painful or it is not painful then also other than that you need to look at the other parts uh, other things described in the question so here in the question they are describing that fetal parts are palpable so this uterine rupture hoga. okay because uterine rupture hoga hai to you can easily palpate the fetal parts from the abdominal wall but if ye wala uh, sentence nahi diya gaya hai question mein, if this is not described and only instead of this pain and painful vaginal bleeding and tender uterus if they give this presentation then it will become abruption so at that time it will be the abruption 
because what happens in abruption is that the placenta is separated early right so this is the uterus and the placenta is separated so is mein kya hoga ki uterus to normal hi hai na to we will not be able to palpate the fetal uh, parts in this easily because the uterus is intact uterus is not uh, ruptured then moving on to the abruption case as you can see here that a pregnant female with abdomen pain then bleeding per vaginum and loss of fetal movement or they can also describe the things like muffled heart sound of the fetus or uh, they can also describe the fetal ke heart rate bad gayi hai okay so these things they can describe in the question then it will be the placenta abruption if uh, this is the main differentiating factor between this uterine rupture and the abruption then management is the immediate induction of the labor pyq okay then moving on after delivery mother develops breathlessness decrease pp increase heart rate shock out of proportion so this is a scene uh, this presentation will be present with the uterine inversion because uterine inversion mein the whole uterus will be inverted and it will come out and this is the only condition that may lead to the shock in the patient matlab immediate shock karega shock out of proportion jo postpartum hemorrhage hai na wo bhi shock cause karega बट इन दिस वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट सडनली बहुत सारी लॉस नहीं होगी ब्लड की प्लेसेंटा पी पी एच में पी पी एच में सडनली बहुत सारी ब्लड लॉस नहीं होगी बट इन केस ऑफ यूटेरन इन्वर्शन एट अ टाइम बहुत सारा ब्लड निकल जाएगा ड्यू टू विच इट विल बी द यूटेरन इन्वर्शन ठीक है सो दिस वॉज ऑल्सो अ पी वाई क्यू देन मूविंग ऑन पेन फीवर डिस्चार्ज एंड ऑन एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन सी सर्वाइकल टेंडरनेस एडनेक्सल टेंडरनेस एंड यूटीराइन टेंडरनेस सो दिस थ्री टेंडरनेस अलॉन्ग विद द पेन एंड द फीवर और दे कैन ऑल्सो डिस्क्राइब सम डिस्चार्ज फ्रॉम द वेचाइना एंड दैट विल बी द केस ऑफ द पी आई डी सो दिस विल बी डिपेंडिंग राइट पी आई डी का केस जो है जो वेचाइनाइटिस है देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द वेचाइनाइटिस सो ट्राइकोमोनियासिस कॉजिंग वेचाइनाइटिस दैन जो कैंडिडियासिस है कैंडिडियासिस विच विल गिव करडी वाइट डिस्चार्ज सो इन इफ इन क्वेश्चन करडी वाइट डिस्चार्ज इज देयर दैन इट विल बी अ हिंड वन टू गो विथ द कैंडिडियासिस ठीक है देन एंड द बैक्टेरियल वेचाइनोसिस तो वेचाइनोसिस में दे विल बी डिस्क्राइबिंग द हिंड वर्ड्स लाइक फिशी ओडर क्लू सेल्स एंड द डिस्चार्ज विल बी क्लियर तो कुछ पर्टिकुलर चेंजेस नहीं होंगे डिस्चार्ज में इट बी लाइक क्लियर वाइट कलर वाइट और ग्रे कलर एंड इन ट्राइकोमोनियासिस इट विल बी ग्रीन ये ग्रीनिश ग्रीनिश कलर ठीक है तो ग्रीनिश कलर की डिस्चार्ज रहेगी इन केस ऑफ ट्राइकोमोनियासिस सो दिस आर द थ्री थिंग्स विच यू मस्ट लुक इन द क्वेश्चन एंड बाई दिस थिंग्स यू कैन ईजिली आइडेंटिफाई विच केस इज द एग्जामिनर आस्किंग then moving on to another very important case if in the question if at all dysmenorrhea dyspareunia and infertility is given then in the options endometriosis is there go with the endometriosis and along with that agar question mein dis dis karke bahut describe kar rahe hai na then uh, go with the endometriosis because this is the condition which will be causing uh, the pain and due to which the patient will be coming and the second most important uh, feature why the patient will be coming to us is the infertility okay so this was a quick short video on the important cases from the obg and i will try to post another video very soon on this bus words hope this video will help you all in your last minute revision and all the best for the fmg i am dr padmini your mentor for the fmg if you are new to gromed subscribe to gromed like the video comment below and share the video thank you so much guys bye bye